Greetings and salutations. I'm back down in shed again. I've been working on the necklets. Uh, as you can see, they've been hanged up. I've sanded them. I've been putting them. Uh, top tip, you want to use a good primer as well as something that can fill in some cracks. Spray putty. Brilliant stuff. Uh, get that from Auto One. Uh, used to be blue. Now it's orange. Now it's yellow. Funny that. Anyway, I'm not going to do these just yet. They only had four coats of paint. I might put a um, spray gloss on them because even though this is a gloss white, it could do it a little bit shinier. And I want to try testing out some lacquer as well. So I might get a small can of uh, spray lacquer and throw it on one, may get a clear lacquer and spray it on another. Let's see how they go. But for the moment, they're drying, just waiting them to leave them overnight. They are white not like black. Again, I want to try and uh, get that white one like I did in this, but hopefully the finish is going to turn out a lot better, Cause especially because I've put more coats on it, I've sanded, I've done all the steps, you know, I've make sure there's no oil on there. But right now, I want to do the handles, which are these things, which go on basically like that, which you can't see. It's the handle, so it's part of the handles. There's two ways to. So this, so. So what we're doing today is we're going to be working on the handles. I mean, they're not going to look like this. Obviously, they're going to be. Uh, I'm going to edge them by the router, and I'm going to make sure they're nice and smooth. I'm going to put some doweling through them and pre-smooth them to make sure they are nice and flat and then I'm going to cover them in material at some point. But first, I need to set up this router.
definitely wear some uh, ear protections because these things can get very loud especially these um, you won't probably hear it on the replay because I'll get rid of that but these can really do hurt your ears uh, also if you feel like it wear gloves but be careful with things that don't. I don't wear gloves personally uh, I, like I have better control over these things but definitely oh do not take anything here as perfectly legal advice on how to do a router if you want to do routing or you're interested talk to someone who does this professionally get a class I don't know there's there's probably plenty of actual tutorials on how to probably do it but things to check up on is make sure your bits right uh, as you can see there's a slight very so slight I mean, if you wanted that perfectly smooth yeah I'll be going a bit more anal and trying to get that level perfectly right it's, it's a cheap router table it's cheap router bits and the crime's going to get hidden by the leather so I'm not particularly fussed on that however if you do want to get a bit of finish you know make sure you, it's all set up and also always move in the direction of the counter to the blade spring I believe uh, so in this kind of table setup it's left to right the bins the blade spins and you're basically feeding it across the bed as it's cutting. Always do two or three passes. Two is a bare minimum. First pass is just going to be your rough cut, so it's just going to get rid of all, most of that excess material. Your second pass is basically just going to clean that up. Your third or fourth pass is a fairly redundant, but if you just want to be paranoid, make sure you've got something good, nice and smooth, just do another pass. Uh, but definitely do more than one. Just don't, just don't think your first pass is literally going to cut it. See what I did there. Now, so these two handles, let's actually get to actually. So these two handles are going to go on the mechlets. Let's grab one of these. As you can see, there's already holes pre drilled into the mechlet. So I'm going to stick a couple of dowling through one of these, glue, glue them in. I probably cut off now about, say, five centimeters worth enough to basically just get enough of a bit of an overlap. Dry fit them on, make trim the excerpts down and down, shape it out, and then I'll just glue the fabric onto these and whack them all together. It's pretty simple, that's how I did my first make left, and it gives you that nice way. So there's actually two um, ways that the handles are done on Star Trek, and that thing's still moving. Uh, Michael Dawn's first back left, oh, sorry, Michael Dawn's first mech left had a handle. But I've seen plenty of other shots, uh, you know, I think it's more like the older Klingons had just basically a leather wrap around the handle. I only have enough for handles for three mechlets, so I'll definitely be doing one as a leather wrap handle, I'll show you that. But first, these have to be fully dried. I might go over them with a bit of a wet and dry again, depending on you know, how I feel or the finish. Uh, I want to try a few different uh, finishes on these. I want to try a higher gloss. I'm going to get some lacquer. I want to try an actual white lacquer on some of these. And the other ones, I'm just going to leave it with the um, white filly bits. See which one gives me the best results. Because uh, as you've probably seen by now, I've not had the best uh, response for this. I mean, it's good in some areas. It's really not so good in other areas. So I'm really just making good check my bases. And I'll see how it goes. I'll definitely post some videos on how the end results are. Uh, thanks for watching.